born. Jew. I am a citizen of the United States. Jew, it's me. And I seek asylum. I'll give you some room to hide. In the country of Canada. Take a deep dive into season four of The Handmaid's Tale. This season is about payoffs. I wanted to make progress. I wanted to deliver. One way to describe the season is patience rewarded. The stakes are a lot higher. It's exciting and incredibly satisfying. June is more badass than ever before. She is the most wanted in all of Gilead. She's not Alfred. She's not June in Gilead. She's something new. You have destroyed my life, my friend. Now that Serena is pregnant, she has nothing left except teaming up with Fred. The pregnancy has afforded them a point of negotiation to find their freedom. We need to drop our fight and team up to help each other. Both of them are willing to fall back into this power couple display that they're pretty good at. One of my favorite things about the season is the fascinating relationships. Commander Lawrence sees an opportunity to form an alliance with Nick. June changed Gilead. She changed me. She changed you. She's got strong claws. That one. June has a relationship with every character in this story. So much of Moira's life is about June. She's caring for June's baby. She's living with June's husband. This season, we really see Moira and Luke could be parents. Live with a one-year-old. <laughs> I remember. They become a lot closer, and it's a brother-sister type love. It's so lovely to show that and to have June see how life has gone on without her. This season, Luke gets everything he hoped for. He gets his wife back, but she's so changed that it's hard for him to process that. Sorry. Somebody who has been through what June has been through in Gilead is not going to return the same person that she was when she left. I think for a lot of these women, it's kind of hard to even remember what freedom was or what it looks like. This season, we open with Rita in Toronto. She has no friends, no family. She's lost. There's no record of your sister or your nephew in any of the refugee camp databases. The trauma is so enormous that it's a real challenge for all of them to release that pain. Tell me what I can do to make things better. There's nothing you can do. Season four, really about the journey for freedom. Characters that we have grown to love and spent four seasons with will perish. Those who have escaped Gilead still carry those scars, even in the land of freedom. And those scars, they have teeth. That will come back to bite. We're delivering on the promises that we've set up for the past three years. We have a lot of big stuff this season, far beyond what I ever could have imagined.